There are many weather phenomena that may affect the airplane during flight and may cause it to damage or crash. Microburst is one of them and it is responsible for many airplanes crashes during takeoff or landing phases. In this video we will discuss what microbursts are and how pilots can avoid them. Microburst is an intense wind that descends from rain clouds and hits the ground then fans out horizontally, usually lasting from about 5 to 15 minutes affecting an area from 1 to 3 kilometers. This phenomenon is often associated with a thunderstorms or strong rains. If we talk about microbursts, it is better to mention the term wind shear, which is somehow same as microburst but can be caused in any direction. So we can say that the microburst is a type of wind shear but not all wind shears are a microburst. Wind shear is a sudden change in wind speed or direction over a short distance in the atmosphere and low level wind shear can affect aircraft airspeed during takeoff and landing. The term headwind refers to the wind blowing opposite to aircraft motion and tailwind refers to wind blowing along aircraft motion. So, for example, the aircraft may face a tailwind, then a sudden headwind. Let's return to microburst. During the landing phase, the airplane will encounter a headwind and may face updraft. This causes the airspeed to increase, then it will enter the downdraft area and lose altitude. After that, the airplane will enter the tailwind region. So the airspeed will decrease. In this situation, if the pilot lose control on the airplane, it may crash before it reaches the runway. During the takeoff, we have two cases. The first case in this situation, let's assume that the center of a microburst is in the runway. So at the start, of the takeoff, the airplane will face a headwind and at the last part of the runway, the aircraft will face a tailwind, which affects the acceleration of the airplane and decrease the airspeed. If the runway is not long enough, the airplane will not be able to stop or fly and that may cause an accident. The second case is if the center of a microburst is at the end of the runway, the aircraft will face a headwind. When it gets airborne, then downdraft finally a tailwind, so it may lose airspeed and altitude rapidly. How can avoid microburst? Some aircrafts have an equipment that can detect microburst such as airborne Doppler weather radar. Some airports have systems that can detect microburst such as wind shear alert systems, an optical detection system and a network anemometer around the airport.